Danica Watson, nurse practitioner, coming to you today to talk about rashes, um, specifically in pediatrics. I could spend hours and hours and hours describing and telling you the treatment of all the billions of rashes that pedi pediatric patients get. However, there's simply not enough time and nobody's going to listen to it. So let me be super general and super vague and just give you a little bit of information. Um, again, this is not a medical diagnosis. This is not recommendations. This is not advice. It is information to you all. It does not take the place of a well child check or a sick visit. If you have further questions, if you're concerned about your child, please see your healthcare provider or your pediatrician. Um, so kids get rashes, like all kids get rashes. Um, and some of them are very defined. Some of them have names and some of them just do not. You know, we take a very thorough history as practitioners um, to figure out what, like the whole picture of your child and what's going on. And um, sometimes with that, we, we know exactly what the rash is. You know, it's a strep rash, which is bacterial and needs antibiotics, or it's um, one of the viral rashes like roseola and things of that nature that need to run their course. I will say more times than not though, when your child presents to the pediatrician's office, they're gonna have a rash that doesn't have an exact name. It's never been named and we call that a viral rash. So we take all the information you give us, we take what your kid looks like and presents like, and we you know form a diagnosis that's what we do day in and day out however with rashes sometimes they come and go they're worse at home faint in the office it, it just really varies and a lot of times they're they're viral rashes so when your pediatrician comes at you and they're like you know it's a viral exanthem and um, it'll last you know several days and it should resolve on its own but X, Y, and Z, that, that's really what it is. Um, they're not just trying to blow you off. They're not, it's not that they don't know what it is. It's just most children get many different viral rashes that just don't have a name. With that being said, um, these rashes typically um, resolve on their own. Supportive care uh, of, of other symptoms, rest, fluids, that type of thing, and they will usually disappear. Um, Sometimes they linger and it warrants a second uh, visit to the doctors. Most of the time it doesn't. Sometimes they're super contagious and sometimes they aren't. Um, and your pediatrician can tell you that when you go get seen. But I do recommend that if your child gets a rash, get a picture and then make an appointment to see um, a physician. That way you can rest assured and know what it is. They all need to be looked at, all rashes. Um, going forward though, when you see it on your babe, like I said, make sure you get a picture because sometimes by the time you load them up in the car and get to the doctor's office, the rash has gone away. So it's, we always like to see um, a photo if, if we can't see the rash on, on the baby. Uh, let me go a little bit in depth on diaper rashes. So, you know, when I say all kids who have a rash need to be seen, even diaper rashes really need eyes laid on them. Um, and it's not just a phone call to the clinic to say, hey, I've got a diaper rash, call me in some diaper cream. There are, it, it depends on what kind of rash it is. It depends on kind of what's going on to what your child needs to best take care of them. It's not that we're trying to put you at an inconvenience when we ask to see your child or to see your rash. Um, it's that we want to make sure we're giving you the right medication to take care of it to make your child feel better. So a lot of these visits can be done if you have good high quality cameras, telehealth, and our office specifically at Navarro Regional um, or Navarro Pediatrics offers that. Um, so if, if that's something that you are interested in, make sure you mention that to the front. But I wanted to clear it up. All rashes need to be looked at, hands on them a lot of the time, it's mostly eyes. Um, and then a lot of rashes are viral rashes. So don't be deterred when your practitioner comes at you with, it's a viral rash, it'll resolve on its own, go give supportive care. If you do have more specific questions or if you have some experience with some bizarre rash that your child has had or you've experienced, uh, please drop it below. I would love to hear about it.